All right, get this one. Hey, yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy, Jermaine, and getting this vlog started off. We are out checking out another unit today. I like this. This is 340 Fremont. All right, this is 340 Fremont, and I like this view. I like this corner unit. I'm looking at two bedrooms again today. Looking at the two bedrooms today, and I sure hope they don't tell me that this is a luxury unit. Because, I mean, yeah, okay, I, I can, maybe we can say that the appliances definitely look a little bit better. Let's do a cabinet test. No, that's not slamming. These are some good cabinets. Some really good cabinets. A gas stove. I actually didn't think they had gas in these buildings, in these high rise buildings. But maybe they have gas. Loving these views. Very insane views of the city here. This building um, across the street is 399 Fremont. I reviewed this one and this is also 333 Fremont too. It's a good one. Yeah, this is a very large open living space and kitchen area. I guess you can have your, you know, your kitchen table over here. And then you can have your couch and stuff over here. But having a couch that is close to the fridge is kind of scary, right? Let's go outside here. It's not coming open. Yeah, we got a nice balcony there. This is on the 10th floor. It's not too high. I don't exactly remember how tall this building is. I think this is uh, 40 stories or 39 stories. If not, I think this is skyscraper status. Whoa, holy moly. This is a large bedroom here. Once again, it's very oddly shaped because we're in a skyscraper. So you got building beams and all that. And I think I've pointed this out in other videos and a lot of units in the city, they'll give you a room like this and they don't give you a light. So there's no light up there. So if you want to light this place up, you got to have a lamp. Um, they do give you a light for the closet, which is pretty nice. Okay, we got a nice shower here. The waterfall head. Ah, I like that kitchen. I like that sink. I said kitchen, I meant to say sink. Nice pooper there, toilet. We have toilet number two. It's just like the other one. Looks like it's identical. I like the contemporary look for the sink, you know, it's not very basic. It's a little stylish, if you know what I'm saying. Washer and dryer hidden away. And we got another bedroom. I love this bedroom. It's it's a wall of windows. This is a wall of windows. It's pretty cool. Definitely high rise living. Nice closet. All right, well, 
This is this unit. This place did not give me the numbers, the prices. They did not write them on the form. So I'll put the prices will be in the screen. They'll be on, on online somewhere. You, you'll see the prices, but I believe this one, if I'm not mistaken, it's around 38 or 36. There's definitely two on here that's, that's 36 for sure. So, um, yeah, let's go and let's go, let's go, let's go explore. Now this area here is the night floor, the night floor outdoor area. I was told that this area is closed, so I don't think I'll be able to go down and show it to you, but I can show it to you guys from the 10th floor. So here it is. Alright, looking for 318. Long hallway. A long hallway. Echoey. I wonder what's around that corner. Voila. Look how long that hallway is. Let's look at this closet. Washer and dryer away from the bedrooms. We have a bath. Whoa. We got a bedroom with no light. Have a little area you can sit down and hang out with a window that is facing looks like this is facing the back side of the building don't think you'll have any car traffic over there just got this closet sorry if it's dark guys but it's just it's just how they show these places, you know? <laughs> wow. I like this huge square. I like this huge square. This unit on an upper floor would be pretty cool. But I don't know on an upper floor. These are kind of some small windows for an op uh, for an upper floor. You know, but maybe these windows are just smaller because there's not much of that view. There's Salesforce right there. We have the Salesforce Tower. Bedroom, master bedroom. This one's large. This bedroom is large. How big that is. It's like a minute to get on the other side of your bedroom. Okay, here's the shower. Once again, no light in here either. Here's a light. Bath. Just got this closet. Large closet. I mean, it's not a walk-in closet, but it's also just tucked away and it is a pretty large closet. Definitely no doubt there. 
It's a pretty cool unit. It's a very quiet unit, I would say. So this be a very quiet unit because these windows don't face the street. But also, this doesn't have much of a view. This looks like there's a park. This looks like a dog park right down below us. I think that's the dog park for here, if I'm not mistaken. That's the park terrace area. Okay, well, here is this one. 25, someone has it in Celsius. That's what's up, that's what's up. Okay, so uh, let's take off. Let's get out of here. Let's take off from this one. This is a, a pretty cool unit. I like this one. It's very large, very spacious. We got one more to go to. We got one to go to on the second floor and then we'll check out like the terrace and like the garden area. And we'll see what, what, what other amenities that they have. Yes. No, we are off to 207. is the last of the three and we are greeted with a very welcoming living room slash kitchen washer and dryer right next to the dishwasher I guess this area would be what, where you would put a table in this little dark little area, this little dark nook. Yeah, I guess we would put something there. I love this island. It's in, it's in the perfect place. Two bedrooms. This bedroom off to the side. I like the fact that the bedrooms are not close to one another, which is kind of cool. Very strong door. Here's the climbing control system. That looks fancy. Ooh, ah. This is your window from your bedroom. You would be looking out at Fremont Street. The cool thing about Fremont Street is it's, it's a street that is somewhat of a quiet street. You do, you do get buses that drive down Fremont, but you, for the most part, Fremont is pretty quiet. These are some pretty thick windows, by the way. Not as thick as some of the other buildings, though. Here we have a bath. We have a bath right here for y'all. And then we have closet. Ooh, nice closet. Let's do a window test, why not? It's really quiet. Let's see what it's like with the windows open. Not that bad, but there's also no cars driving by right now either. Okay, well, that's that test. It's pretty quiet. All right, so once again, I'll put the, the info on the screen. Sorry, I'm not saying the dimensions and all that in the video. We got another coat closet or a skateboard closet. So let's go check out the, um, the garden area and the, ter the terrace, wherever that is. I thought this building had like a rooftop terrace, but it doesn't exactly have a rooftop terrace. It has a terrace on 
on another rooftop, but it's not the the upper rooftop. Or I don't know, maybe this building does have one that I don't know about. Anyway, let's check this. Let's uh, let's go check out. Let's go explore. Okay, here we have the outdoor garden terrace. I don't know if I can go out. Oh, it's open. It's open. Wow, it's really windy out here. This is one of the outdoor, the private hangout areas. Holy geez, someone has a dog. And there we go. And down here, this is an exit area. It's a pretty nice place. back because I left the skateboard in the door. Alright, let's go to nine. Wow, the night floor sure is lit up. So I'll take it, that's the club lounge, but it's closed because of the COVID-19 restrictions. All right, just got back from 340 Fremont, and 340 Fremont was a beauty. It was a, a pretty cool building. Now, 340 Fremont is across the street from 399 Fremont, and I already know a lot of people are gonna say, yo, 399 Fremont looks a whole lot better than 340 Fremont. Like, I like 399 Fremont more. However, I think that, it, you know, 340 is definitely a better value, it's cheaper. You still get some insane views of the city. You know, you can still be in the sky. However, you don't get as many amenities, but you definitely get some pretty cool amenities with 340 Fremont. Now, would I move to 340 Fremont? I definitely could see myself living here. It's 340 Fremont, I definitely must admit, it's it's sort of higher on my, on my list of places to live from, just because I'm a huge fan of high-rise apartments and skyscrapers and stuff like that. So that's gonna give it a whole bunch of cool points right there. But yeah, this was a pretty, pretty cool place. Pretty, pretty cool place right in the East Cut neighborhood, Rincon Hill. And yeah, just another wonderful, wonderful unit. Another wonderful building in San Francisco. But anyway, thought I would, um, you know, share this one with you guys. And if you guys want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if you got some comments, put some comments down in the description below. I love to read you guys' comments. It's pretty awesome. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.